Hey guys, it's Camilla. So welcome to another edition of Learning About Insurance. We aim to help you guys understand about policies and insurance and ask any questions that you might have. So today we're talking about accidental death and dismemberment policies. A lot of you guys may have them. They're called AD&D policies as well for the acronym in case you want, um, in case you've heard of that instead of accidental death and dismemberment. So in a nutshell, what I kind of wanted to share with you guys about this policy, this particular policy, it's very affordable, number one. So if you um, have a teenager um, for yourself and you just want to a quick accident policy that's not going to cost you a lot of money, maybe, you know, $150 to $200 a year, you know, $10 a month, $8 to $10 a month, depending on how much the face value of the policy is. So your face value of this policy can be random. So for instance, um, I did one on my son and the policy uh, was only $146 a year for annual. Um, you're gonna pay annually and like $10 and something, uh, $10.45 a month. And that uh, policy was for $100,000 was the face value. So let me explain to you guys exactly what you get from an AD&D &D policy on normal circumstances. I won't go through all the details, but I'm gonna go through a little bit of it, and that kind of helps you guys understand it a little bit better. So, this particular insurance policy is for accidents, right? If you are to get into a car accident, if you do a slip and fall accident, you um, and you die, okay? So you lose your life, the policy will pay the face value, right? The insurance company will pay the face value. So if you have $50,000, you die from this car accident um, or a slip and fall or you walk out your door and someone shoots you or whatever, it's gonna pay the face value under normal circumstances. So there are circumstances where this policy will not pay. So for instance, speaking about the same thing, a policy will not pay if you're the cause of the issue, meaning if you were drunk driving, if you were um, um, under the influence of narcotics, drugs, if you were in the process of delivering drugs, transporting drugs, any illegal capacity, your policy is not going to pay if you happen to die, right? So just make sure that you know that um, if you were in the process of robbing a store and you stole something or what have you, your policy is probably not going to pay if you get killed in the process, okay? So also a reason that the policy will not pay is if you're in the hospital, you get an accident, and you're in the hospital for less than 90 days and you die, the policy will most likely pay. If you're in the hospital and for these 90 days, it's 91 days, right? You've been in the hospital, it's not going to pay, right? After that 91, 91st day that you've been in the hospital, it's probably not going to pay. So um, there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages and not really a lot of disadvantages because for $10 a month or $2 a month or whatever it is, you have a policy in case something happens. And as we know, accidents happen, you know, you, your family will get paid depending on how much the face value of your policy was, okay? So I wanted to say all of that and there's something else I wanted to tell you. Okay, so I had to look at, I just wrote an article on our website. So when I make these videos, I will also make articles most of the time. So the article that I made is on our website, www.themodagency.com. So make sure that you um, bookmark that site and check it out because we'll have lots of learning uh, lessons on there, learning materials to help you um, know what exactly you're getting in these policies because it can be very confusing. So the next thing that I wanted to make sure that the dismemberment part of the policy. So the dismemberment part of the policy is you have, if you don't die, right, but you get in a bad accident, you, um, in order for the policy to pay out the face amount, the face value of the policy, you're gonna need to lose two limbs in your, in, on your body, okay? So that's either two legs, two arms, you know, um, two legs or whatever. So two limbs in order for the face value of the policy to pay out, or um, it may have 
a uh, stipulation in there where you can, if you lose one arm and one leg, or you know, a hand and a foot, or something to that effect, an eye, you lose an eye and an arm, or something like that, and you go blind, um, you know, and you have to go blind in two eyes in order for the face value to pay as well. So those are the reasons that the policy will pay out. The advantages, again, for the policy is that it's very inexpensive, that you should, everyone should have at least a D and D policy if you don't have anything else. I don't care if it's your, um, for yourself, your spouse, your child, whatever. Everyone should have an AD and D policy because they're very inexpensive to have. So they're for accidents specifically, right? Not when you're in the commission of a crime or a felony or something like that, because then those are the ad the disadvantages, I guess, if they have any, that the policy won't pay out. Okay. So um, I think that pretty much does it. Um, all these video, all these videos that I make are definitely um, educational videos and they're learning. So you have to look at your specific policy. Okay, this is my Kavit Wittor. Um, you have to look at your specific policy and look at it and know exactly what it says. So for instance, I have a policy here that I had like a long time ago. I don't even think it's valid anymore, but it came in this little nice little packet here. And um, it was from JC Penny Life, but now your policy is gonna be from where? Me. Right, and it had um, just some policy information. I won't pretty much show all of it, but you know, here is the, you know, the packet, and basically that is your contract, right? And it, it spells everything out in the policy on exactly what the policy does, right? So you'll get something like this, and it'll have all of this, you know, certificate of insurance all of the particular writing in there and it will disclose exactly what your policy covers, what it doesn't cover because some of these covers may, some of these policies may have writers attached to them. Um, and if there's a writer, then we need to know exactly what the writer is. And basically writers, we'll talk about that in a different video, but writers are attached to a lot of life insurance policies, UIL policies, whole life policies, term policies, um, AD and D policies, and they basically write on, write or write on, attach itself to the policy with other stipulations that you might want to add on. You might add a child writer, that means you're adding your child onto the policy as well. It's going to be a little bit extra, not a lot extra, but um, that's what a writer is basically, and we'll talk about a lot more about that later. So, thank you guys for watching, and make sure that if you have any questions, let us know, send us an email, or give us a phone call. We'll answer you right away. We appreciate you guys um, taking time to listen to us and watching the video, and make sure you share this with your friends. And our website, again, is www.themottagency.com. That's M-O-T-T-E, agency.com. And my name is Camilla. God bless.